name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to blame of the Lord tonight for another privilege to be alive and to be on set. I thank God for whoever the Lord has taught tonight to connect to this broadcast. Because I believe that the purpose to which the Lord set up this broadcast will be made manifest in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, let us worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords uh, before I go ahead and teach uh, to them. Lord, we bow down and worship Yahweh. Lord, we bow down and worship Yahweh. 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 Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you praise, Lord. As we worship you, you are worthy. You are worthy, O oh God. You are worthy. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We worship you. We magnify. We acknowledge you as the one behind our existence, the hope of our glory. Thank you for your love, for your faithfulness in our faithfulness. Thank you for provisions. Thank you for spiritual advantage that we have over the forces of hell. Thank you that you did not allow the enemy to take over our life. We give you glory. Thank you for the cross. For we acknowledge the victory that you gave us. That it has been the reason why we have been going. Take all the glory. Take all the praise. Eternal Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, let tonight be filled with your presence. Cause everyone, Lord, that hear me, will hear you through my voice in the name of Jesus. Let someone receive the flow of your spirit afresh today in the name of Jesus. Let healing be established and let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to give God praise once again for making it possible for us to be alive and healthy today. Hallelujah. It's a Bible study and I'm going to be sharing a very uh, important subject on, on faith. I'll be speaking on um, um, and I trust God that the, a key will drop into somebody's hand that he will use to open up uh, his, ne his or her next level in the name of Jesus Christ. I'll be taking my text from the book of 2 Kings chapter 6 and I'll read a very long scripture from verse 8. Yeah. He was making war against Israel. And he consulted with his servants, saying, My camp will be in such and such a place. And the man of God sent to the king of Israel, saying, 
Beware that you do not pass that place. For the Syrians are coming down there. Then the king of Israel sent someone to the place of which the man of God had told him. First he warned him and he was watchful. Syria was greatly troubled by this very matter. And he called his servants and said to them, Will you not show me which of, you, which of us is for the king of Israel? And one of his servants said, Son, my lord, O king, but Elisha, the prophet who is in Israel, tells the king of Israel where he is, that I may send. And it was told him, saying, Surely, therefore, he sent horses and surrounded the city. And when the servant of the man of God arose early and went out, there was an army surrounding the city with horses and chariots. And a servant said to him, Alas, my master, what shall we do? So he answered, Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elisha prayed to God and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and the saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is a wonderful story. And this story talks about the spirit realm, the spirit man, and the natural man. The spirit, the spirit man, and the natural man. And we saw how it played out. How that an army encamped a man. And even without the man having to come out to address them, he was able to ascertain that there are forces that were for him beyond ability of what had come against him. Tonight, I want to begin by saying that we are creations of the Spirit. Redemption is God's eternal program that adopted us into his family, which is why we are covered about the mystery of being born again in John chapter 3 and in verse 7 and 8 when Jesus said you should not if you are marvel say don't be marvel that I said you must be born again he said the wind blew it where it wishes and you hear the sound thereof but cannot from and where it goes to he says so is everyone that is born of the spirit being born again is an advantage for us as God's children. It is not a disadvantage in any way. God is a spirit being who is eternal and side time. Even the spiritual realm is a realm outside time which has energy and materiality. The heaven is a realm of God where he sits on his throne. God created the land. Everything in the natural realm is subjected and controlled by the spirit realm. It is very important that we understand that everything that was created, we are created in twos. Everything God created we are created about man. Praise the name of Jesus. He created the visible realm and the invisible realm. The heavens are the invisible, while the cosmos, which is our world, is the visible world. Hallelujah. And the Bible talks about this in um, Colossians that are in heavens and on the earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominion or principalities or power or things 
were that were he said all things were created through him and for him praise the name of jesus even human being a created spirit we have a soul and we live in the body meaning as human being we have capacity to operate in both spiritual realm and the natural realm uh, praise the name of jesus and that was what we saw uh, prophet elisha maximizing praise the name of jesus we saw prophet elijah who by his spiritual understanding his spirituality controls the natural realm in his favor he used a spiritual advantage to, to, to protect himself and to subdue an army. Praise the Israeli's opponent, first and foremost. When the king was planning an attack, he was planning to uh, attack Israel uh, uh, without their consent. The Bible, that signal, he was able to pick that information from the spirit realm thereby relating it to the king of Israel. And we saw that the plan to attack them was averted with, uh, by uh, the, the forces of Israel. The Bible said that the Syrian army came against him, but his spirituality made him smarter than them. Hallelujah. He utilized, he used what was available in the spirit realm to manipulate things in his favor. Including his own servant until he had to pray that God will open the eyes of his servant to see things that he couldn't see with his ordinary I praise the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible stated that when he prayed, what he couldn't see. This means that if you can pray, you can see what are things that are not uh, naturally visible to a natural man. That's what that means. Praise the name of Jesus. Now, faith is the linkage. It is important we know that faith is the linkage between spiritual realm and the natural realm, between the visible and the invisible faith. Faith is the evidence that you must have of what you are willing to bring into the natural experience uh, before you can be able to uh, achieve that. Praise the name of Jesus. Faith of the Spirit. The Bible said in the book of Hebrew, chapter 1, verse, uh, chapter 11, verse 1 down to 3, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. He said, For by it the elders obtain a good report. By faith, we are on the world, we are framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. So faith is the high sight of the soul. Faith. Is the high sight of the soul. It has the unique power to receive from God the invisible light of spiritual truth. Praise the name of Jesus. Like the eyes, faith does not create reality, but instead it passively receives spiritual information from the true nature of things. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. That is why God ordained justification in our justification. So we can't do much without it because it is by it we are justified. It is by it is through it that we are saved. The Bible said, therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. The faith that justifies is imparted to human soul as an act of God's grace, enabling us to receive full forgiveness in Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. So faith is well-pleasing God. That is why it is impossible to please God without faith. But by saying without faith, it is impossible 
Oh, please God. I want you to know that the essence of faith is that it operates in, in, on invisible things. It operates on invisible things. So if there is anything that exists around you that is not visible, it means you need the height of your soul to be alive. When Apostle Paul said, we walk by faith, directly constructing faith and sight. Even Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1, he said, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So we fix our eyes not on the things that are seen, but on the things which are not seen. For what is seen is temporary, but and what is not seen, what is unseen is eternal. Praise the name of Jesus. For instance, we saw how Elijah used the unseen. He, he was able to use his spiritual eyes to uh, operate in the unseen and was able to tame the physical armies of Syria. Praise the name of Jesus. I want you to know that there is a way to live a life to the fullness. And that is by taking uh, advantage of the invisible realm in order to do the impossible in this realm. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. A young man, a native of uh, one of the eastern states uh, of Nigeria, Enugu, used local material to build a power bike. He was building with local material at the time of the documentary that I saw. He was asked of how he came about his manufacturing skills. He said every time he lay down to sleep, a group of engineers usually show up in his dream. He said the moment they come, they will engage him and they will start building the power bank. They will start building a car. So whenever he comes out of his sleep, he decided to utilize the same skill he saw in the realm of the spirit to build, to do what he saw them doing. Praise the name of Jesus. And that was how that young man, he, a manufacturer, automobile manufacturer. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So it is very important that we know that uh, following, living a life of faith gives you capacity to achieve more than what is visible. It will enable you to bring things to uh, physicality that never such spiritual eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. So I blessed uh, uh, one day uh, the Holy Spirit told me that it is my faith that will bring supernatural into my world. So faith is the transportation system that transports uh, things from the invisible realm into our visible world. There are so many things that God still expects we human beings to bring to reality and it is by faith that we are able to um, achieve that. The Bible says by faith uh, uh, Moses forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Ultimately, it is important to know that faith does not operate on things that are visible, but on things available in the spirit realm, made visible by faith. By faith. Hallelujah. The Bible said, by faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go to a place which he will receive as an inheritance. And he went out, 
not knowing where he was going. He went out in faith, the city that was builded and maker was God. Hallelujah. That means faith is the action taken by an individual based on what he heard or saw from God to produce visible proofs. To produce visible proofs. As I conclude tonight, hallelujah, I want you to know that faith operates in three vital invisible realms according to the scripture. Three vital invisible realms. The past as recorded in the scripture. The past. The present. The present in invisible spiritual world which exists around us right now. Because even as we are here, things are happening in the spirit. And it is through the highs of faith that you can pick those signals. And the third one is the future as promised by the scripture. So it's only, in fact, the Bible is a book of faith. Our religion is a religion of faith. And that is why it's only a strong, faithful man that will be able to do exploit in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Now I want you to know that none of these three realms can be seen with the physical eyes. Truth must come from the scripture or from vision and revelation. And it's God gives it to an individual. Apostle Paul prayed a prayer for the Ephesian church in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17 down to 19 on this. He said that the revelation in the knowledge of him, that the highs of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the of his glory in his and his inheritance and his inheritance in his sins, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of working of his mighty power. Praise the name of Jesus. It is when we start tapping into that wisdom of God, you tap into the spiritual intelligence. To uh, power your destiny according to God's plan, that you are able to secure the glorious destiny. Our world is waiting for great men of insight. They are waiting for men and women who are uh, ready to manifest their spiritual intelligence. And I trust God that from tonight, the Lord God will touch your heart. He will give you spiritual revelation in the knowledge of him through the scripture through your revelation through visions in the name of jesus christ if you have listened to me tonight and you are not giving your life to christ i want to give you this wonderful opportunity to uh, uh, give your life to jesus tonight i want you to pray this prayer with me say father in the name of jesus i come to you tonight just as i am i a sinner forgive me all my sins Grant me grace to sin no more. Give me power to reign with you. I believe in my heart that Jesus died for me and that he reigns forever in my life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You have prayed that prayer with me. I want you to know that you are now a child of God and that there is more that you need to know about God and the kingdom. God. I want you to uh, check this this screen and um, uh, tap the numbers that are displayed on the screen. Call those numbers and we will guide you on the next uh, step.